Margaret Sanger, the women's rights activist and founder of Planned Parenthood, the largest abortion provider in America, is a hero to the modern left. Hillary Clinton told supporters in 2009 that she was in awe of Sanger. In 2014, Barack Obama, in an address to Planned Parenthood, praised Sanger's legacy as the core principle that has guided everything all of you do. Meanwhile, conservatives have criticized Sanger for decades. Why? Here's what the left isn't telling you about her. Margaret Sanger co-founded the American Birth Control League in 1921, the group which eventually became Planned Parenthood. The League included among its founding aims the sterilization of the insane and feeble-minded. Sanger believed that the most urgent problem today is how to limit and discourage the overfertility of the mentally and physically defective. Sanger's co-founders included the man who pioneered Aryan supremacy theory, Georges Lepouge. Other supporters were the anti-Semitic novelist Johann Ferch, American Eugenics Society President Clarence Little, and Lathrop Stoddard, an avowed white supremacist who promoted laws against interracial marriage. And Sanger supported many of their abhorrent views, too. She thought eugenics would liberate women by developing a cleaner race. She wrote, Birth control is not contraception indiscriminately and thoughtlessly practiced. It means the release and cultivation of the better racial elements in our society and the gradual suppression, elimination, and eventual extirpation of defective stocks, those human weeds which threaten the blooming of the finest flowers of American civilization. In a press release signed by Sanger, the Birth Control League championed forced sterilization of Americans, declaring that there are hundreds of thousands, perhaps millions of individuals in this country who have not the moral responsibility to care for children. These people should be sterilized. Sanger wanted to block immigration of feeble-minded foreigners with loathsome diseases in order to protect America's fragile gene pool. She even spoke before the Ku Klux Klan, warning them that America must keep the doors of immigration closed to undesirables. Was Margaret Sanger a racist? Consider her beliefs about Australia's Aborigines people, whom she considered compulsive rapists and the lowest known species of the human family, just a step higher than the chimpanzees in brain development. Today's Planned Parenthood may denounce her support for eugenics, yet the group still calls its racist founder a hero and venerates her with their highest honor, the Margaret Sanger Award. If modern progressives held Sanger to their own standards, they'd rightly renounce her as a bigot and a racist. I'm Hayden Ludwig. If you liked this video, please read the full article on our website and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.